Okay, why don't we go ahead and get started. So I'm Megan. Thank you for joining. We will practice until 7.15 tonight and then classes will keep going uh, till about mid-June. I think maybe the 18th or 19th. So um, I'm just leading the class. This is your yoga practice. So um, take this at your own pace, have fun, let it be easy and gentle. And if you're ever in pain, definitely know that it's okay to back off and not every pose is going to be perfect. So yoga is um, a progress and that's what makes it so much fun. So be patient with yourself and um, have a playful attitude and we'll have fun. So let's go ahead and start in a comfortable seated position. Go ahead and maybe start sitting cross-legged. Let the hands rest gently on the knees. And then from here, let the spine lengthen and lift up. And as the top of the head lifts up towards the ceiling, notice if the sternum and the heart can lift a little bit. And then the shoulders kind of melt down the back. And so we'll begin focusing on our breath. And so as we slow the breath down and we begin to be really mindful of the inhales and exhales, we allow ourselves to become more present and still and allow ourselves to focus more on the moment and slow the mind down. So let's take a full deep breath in through the nose. And then out through the mouth, a long exhale out. And as we begin our practice, allow yourself to kind of just land here and be so. As you're in this seated pose, allow yourself to check in with yourself to see how you're doing, see how you're feeling. And keep with some nice gentle breath. So long inhales and then long full exhales out. Stop running. <laughs> And take another full deep breath in, inhale. Notice how the heart and chest lifts. And then slowly out through the mouth, long exhale. Gently go ahead and open up the eyes and we will take a big inhale, big inhale, reach the arms up high towards the ceiling. Maybe you gaze up here and really lift through the fingertips. And then as you exhale, press palms together and bring them towards heart center. And then from here, maybe hug the shoulders up towards the chin, uh, towards the ears. And as you exhale, roll them down the back. And now release the hands and we will inhale, big breath and reach up. And let's exhale, twist towards your right. So keep the spine lengthening up and let the left hand rest gently on the knee and the right hand drops to the floor behind you. And let yourself just enjoy the twist, not so much the end goal like let's twist as deep as I can. Allow yourself to just kind of enjoy the gentle little twist, a gaze over the right shoulder. And then on the exhale, float back through center and we'll do that again. So big inhale, reach the arms up nice and high. We bring in length on the inhales. And then exhale, twist to the left. Notice if you're really using this right hand to pull on, on the knee. See if you can be pretty gentle there. And stay for another breath. And exhale, release, come right back through center. And uh, let's put the hands on the ground to either side of us and we will take a lateral stretch over to the right. So inhale, reach the left arm up. And before we go anywhere, the hands kind of just hanging out there. See if you can really like intentionally lift it up high um, towards the ceiling. So take a big breath in. Awesome. Exhale, reach over towards your right. And then from here, notice if you're kind of, if you're starting to collapse a little bit, uh, maybe in the shoulder. So if you can let the bicep maybe roll over that left ear and if it's okay, the gaze can kind of come up towards the ceiling and then you have a nice wide collarbone and the heart is open. And then float back through center. Put the left hand on the mat and we'll inhale, reach the right arm up nice and high towards the ceiling. And then again, intentionally reach up. And then on the exhale, reach over towards your left. And then you can always bring this left forearm down towards the mat and you kind of get a bit of a deeper stretch through the side body. 
And then if it feels okay on the neck, the gaze can come up towards the ceiling and the heart opens. And exhale, come back through center. And we'll do that again on the other side. Inhale, left arm reaching up. And exhale, reach over towards the right. We'll just stay here for one breath. So float right back through center. Let this left hand rest on the ground. And on that same inhale, reach the right arm up nice and high. And then exhale, stretch over to that left. Big, long exhale out. And then right back through center. Go ahead and bring your hands to your knees. And we'll take some seated cat cow. So if you joined us last night, we did this. So um, have a nice bend in the elbows. Be really gentle through the hands and fingertips. <laughs> And inhale, bring your gaze up and let the heart lift. So now you're kind of arching in the spine a little bit. And then as you exhale, curl the spine, hug the belly button towards the spine, tuck your chin a bit. So you should feel this nice stretch through um, the back as it rounds. And then keep moving like that. So we'll inhale um, to cow pose. So the heart lifts up, the shoulders melt down the back. You're easy in the elbows. And then exhale to your cat pose. Tuck the chin towards the chest and uh, let the head hang nice and heavy. And then a couple more times. Inhale, heart lifts up, the gaze creeps up. And exhale to um, cat pose. And then come on back to just sitting up nice and tall and just roll uh, yourself around sort of in a circle here. <laughs> And you can change directions and um, see if you can kind of carry this ease with you throughout the class. So not feeling too rigid in any poses, um, just letting it kind of be nice and easy. Okay, let's take our right ear to um, the right shoulder for a little stretch in the neck. And then for a different sort of stretch, you can tuck the chin just a little bit and really kind of feel the side of the neck stretch. And then come back up through center and go to the other side. Left ear to left shoulder. And tuck the chin a little bit. And then lift the head back up and um, drop the chin towards the chest so the back of the neck is nice and long all the way to the base of the skull. All right, then gently lift up. Okay, let's come into our child's pose. Um, so for child's pose, we're working towards our knees coming to the edges of the mat. We wanna allow our hips to sink back towards our heels, flip onto the tops of your feet, bringing our big toes close to touch, and we are reaching forward. If you have a pillow nearby, which I luckily do, you can always take child's pose with a pillow. So letting the forehead or chin rest down on something, either the mat or the pillow. And you're spreading your fingertips are about shoulder width distance apart. And we're just landing here and breathing. And so child's pose is always uh, like a good home-based rest pose. And so your heart is dropping down towards the mat and the shoulders are pulling away from the ears. And if you press a bit into the finger pads, engage through the arms, see if you can send the hips back closer towards the heels if that's feeling okay. And then from here, walk your um, left hand over to towards the left corner of the mat and then creep your right hand over. Put it on top of the left, kind of press into the hands and send the hips back towards the heels. And then walk the hands back through center and go to the other side. So the right hand comes over to the um, right edge of the mat and the left hand gently comes on top of it. You press a bit um, through the hands and engage through the arms, send the hips back towards the heels. And 
And then come back to center to your child's pose. And stay here for three breaths. And on that last breath, notice if there's any tension holding on, um, being held anywhere, especially through the muscles of the face and relax, let that go. Let the grip on the fingers not be so tight and rigid. And let's press up into tabletop position. <sighs> so in tabletop, we like to have our hands and feet shoulder width distance apart. Let's bend the elbows um, here and kind of just move around. So taking the hips in circles and maybe actually like uh, kind of wagging the um, your bottom from side to side and you kind of look over one shoulder and get a nice side stretch. Awesome. And then let's return to a more still tabletop position. So let's go ahead and look down at your hands, spread the fingertips nice and wide. And the wrists are right under the shoulders. Your gaze is right between the two hands and the belly button and core is active. The belly button is hugging up and in. And from here, lift the right foot and send it to the back edge of the mat. And feel the low abs and core working. So you're flexing the right foot and kicking through the heel. And if this doesn't feel good, feel free to drop back down to tabletop. But if you'd like to keep going, reach the left arm forward. So now we're feeling really long. So all the way from the back right heel, the um, back of the leg, the spine, reaching all the way through the left fingertips. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, bring the left hand to the top left hand corner of the mat. And this right foot is going to the um, back right corner of your mat. So we're using our obliques here and coming a bit off center. And then inhale, come back towards center. So kick through that right heel, reach through the left fingertips. And then exhale, do that again. So the right foot goes to the back right hand corner of the mat and the left hand to the top left hand corner. And then come back through center, take a breath in. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, come slightly off center. Inhale, back through center, really kick and lengthen out. And then exhale, lower everything back down to tabletop. And so as you're doing that, you wanna stay grounded through whatever hand is um, remaining on the ground. So let's go ahead and take that to the other side. So uh, send the left foot back behind you, kick through that left heel. And if the top of your right foot is on the floor, let that help support you. And then from here, the right arm reaching forward. So see if you can really lengthen out and really press down through this left hand that's in contact with the mat. And keep with a nice steady breath that we cultivated at the beginning of practice. So take a deep inhale. Exhale, come slightly off center. So let that right hand come to the top right hand corner of the mat and the left foot to the back left edge. Inhale, straighten out, reach through center. And exhale, slightly off center. And one more time, inhale, come back towards center, reach through that back heel. Exhale, slightly off center. Inhale, come back through center, kick and reach, lengthen, big breath in. And exhale, lower down. Okay. From here, walk the hands forward just a little bit, and let's just sink our hips down. So keep a little bend through the elbows, and if you'd like, flip onto the tops of your feet. Just kind of let the front body open up. So um, some rolling from side to side. Gazing and looking over the shoulders and just noticing how things in your body are feeling today. Hmm. 
And then from here, let's come back onto um, the knees, tuck the toes under and we'll lift into downward facing dog. And so downward facing dog, hips um, are lifting up towards the ceiling, the hands and feet are hips width distance apart. And play around with the zip distance here between the hands and the feet. So if down dog is feeling really uncomfortable, maybe walk your hands a bit closer towards your feet or maybe give more space between them. So really engaging through the arms and sending your heart back towards your thighs. You have a nice bend through the knees. If this doesn't feel okay, dolphin pose is always an option, dropping your forearms down towards the ground. And if we're ever taking downward facing dog, you can always um, modify to tabletop position. <sighs> So walk the legs out here, so maybe straightening out the legs, lifting up high on the tippy toes. Letting the hips warm up a little bit and staying soft through your elbows here too as well. And let's start walking our feet to the top edge of our mat. We'll come into a forward fold. So the feet are hips width distance apart and they're parallel facing forward. Bend the knees and let the tummy just kind of feel nice and gentle, the top of the head down towards the ground. And you can grab opposite elbows for a ragdoll pose. And if you're holding the neck or head up, definitely let that go. And you can shake your head out here. Yes and no. Back to yes. And let's go ahead and release the hands down. Let's inhale to a halfway lift. So we're pressing through the feet. Keep um, knees bent. Hands are to the shins. And let the heart and the top of the head pull forward. The shoulders pull back. Take a breath in. Exhale, fold forward. And two more times. Inhale, lift halfway. So really plug down through the feet. The spine is nice and flat. And exhale, fold. And again, inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. From here, let's um, place our hands down on the ground and come back to tabletop position. So lowering the knees down. And from your tabletop position, slide the right foot forward. And let a, your right hand come on the other side of the right foot. So the foot is right between the two hands. And let's pause here for a second. Notice if you can kind of melt into the hips and adjust this back knee a bit. So we want the right knee to be right over our right ankle. And then leave the left hand down on the mat. And as you inhale, big reach up with the right hand, reach through the fingertips, breath in. And exhale, lower down, let the right hand come to the mat and float to the other side. Let the inhale bring you up. And exhale, lower down and to the other side. Big inhale, sweep that arm up. Maybe the gaze goes up to the ceiling. And switch sides. Inhale, sweep up. And exhale, lower down. Let's leave the right hand on our mat and inhale, reach the left arm up. And then as you exhale, reach over towards the right. And really put some weight into the sole of this right foot. And exhale, release both hands down, shift back to your runner's stretch. Start straightening through that right leg, flex the right toes towards the face. Let the hand stay on the mat to support you a bit. And then this pose is kind of a opening pose to go into a full split. So if that is in anyone's practice, this is a nice warm up pose for you to transition into that. So the hips are pulling towards the back edge of the mat. And the heart is kind of pulling forward. Should feel this nice stretch on the 
back of the right leg. Start bending the right knee and bring the sole of the right foot down to the floor. Tuck these back toes under, lift the back leg. So now we are in a high runner's lunge and we are going to come into um, a standing split. So we're gonna walk this um, back foot forward. We're gonna stand on the right foot, lift the left heel up towards the ceiling, leave the hands on the ground to support you. And just like how we lifted the leg in our tabletop position, flex this left foot and kick through uh, the left heel. And then fold in the upper body so the head and neck should be hanging nice and heavy. Start bending both knees and uh, let the hand support you. Big step back to warrior two. So the right foot is facing directly forward. We have a bend through the right knee. And our back foot is almost parallel with the back edge of the mat. This back leg is straight and the arms reach to the front and back edge of your mat. Right toes facing directly forward and notice if uh, this, this right knee is starting to knock in towards the midline. Um, that's a little unsafe for the knee, so really press down through the foot and maybe come out of the bend a little bit if the hips are feeling a little tight. Okay, so in warrior two, really grounding down through the feet, reach through the fingertips and gaze over the front middle finger. Press into the feet, straighten the front leg and bring the arms up overhead. Big breath in. Exhale, come back to your warrior two. And then again, press through the feet, big inhale, reach and lift up. And exhale, warrior two. One more time, press through the feet, work on straightening through the front leg. Everything lifts up, let the breath bring you up. And exhale, warrior two. Let's slip our palms up towards the ceiling and just feel that for a moment. And then drop the hands and just kind of let them shake from side to side so the arms are nice and long, almost like, like empty coat sleeves kind of just hanging around. Okay, then press through your feet, come on back to warrior two and we will reverse. So flip the front palm, big inhale, reach up. Now we're really pressing through the feet. We're staying low in that front um, knee and these right fingertips are reaching for a nice side body stretch. And on the exhale, side angle. So the right elbow comes to the top of the right thigh, left arm reaching up towards the ceiling. We're really pressing through the pinky edge side of this left foot. And we're really gentle in our right elbow. We're not just dumping a whole bunch of upper body weight into that elbow that's resting on the thigh. We're really light and gentle, so we're using our core. And let's come on back, warrior two, big inhale, flip and revolve. And exhale back to warrior two, straighten your front leg so the arms are reaching to the front and back edge of the mat. And like someone's got a string and they're pulling your back hip, we'll come into triangle pose so the right hand maybe drops to a shin, working on both legs being straight and the left arm is reaching up towards the ceiling. So a nice opening through the hips and um, a nice big stretch through the front of the body, really reaching through both finger, um, both of the hands. And press into that back foot, rise up, five-pointed star. So turn your right foot in. So now the uh, feet are parallel with the edges of the mat. And let's bring our hands to our hips and maybe to the low back, big inhale, maybe a little back bend here. And exhale, let's fold forward. Let the hands come down so that you feel supported and safe, really pressing into the outer edges of the feet. And 
and then bring the hands on the ground and we'll just take a halfway lift here with our legs wide and then start to turn the right toes forward bend the right knee and let's just walk up to a forward fold so we'll bring that left foot back up top and fold forward so just have a soft bend through the knees and a nice big deep breath here and a full exhale out inhale take a halfway lift so the hands come to the shins and exhale fold it forward drop the hands down to the mat and come back to tabletop position so drop the knees down and from our tabletop bring the left foot forward adjust the right knee and have a hand on either side of the left foot And then allow yourself to kind of wiggle around here. So, ah, oh, this feels good. Nice little stretch through the hips. We feel supported and safe through um, the hands wherever they're resting, if they're on the ground or on the top of your left knee. And then let's take some twists on this side. So we'll start by leaving the right hand down on the mat. Big inhale, sweep the left arm up and exhale lower down and go to the other side inhale reach up exhale lower down and then each side one more time use your breath and then coming on back both hands on the ground leave the uh, left hand um, on the ground and we'll inhale reach the right arm up exhale gentle little reach over towards the left so that right side body is opening up and feeling a nice stretch and then bring that right arm back down and then send the hips to the back edge of the mat runners stretch flex the left toes towards the face <sighs> And then for a deeper stretch, kind of the more you fold the upper body down towards the left toes, you'll feel a nice stretch through the back of the left leg. And then lift the upper body up, start um, bending the left knee, bring the left foot to the floor. Tuck the um, back toes under and lift the back knee up. And so we're going to start creeping our right foot forward and we'll come into that standing split. So maybe walk your hands up a bit more wherever they feel comfortable and you're pressing through the left foot and the right heel is lifting up towards the ceiling. And you're folding in the upper body. So we're really pressing down through the left heel and the mound of the big toe. Have a little bend through that left knee. And then we'll float our way back towards warrior two. So the hands stay on the ground. We're bending the front leg. We're taking a big step or two back with the right foot. The sole of that right foot is becoming almost parallel with the back edge of the mat. We're getting a nice opening through the hips and shoulders. So we've got to bend through the um, front leg. The knee is right over the ankle. And we're reaching through the fingertips, warrior two. Press through the front foot, inhale, straighten that leg and bring the arms up overhead, inhale. And exhale, warrior two. And again, breath in, press through the floor, reach up. And exhale, warrior two. And one more time, big inhale, press through the feet, reach and lift up. Exhale, warrior two. So we're really reaching through these fingertips and then just for fun, flip the palms up towards the ceiling. And then go ahead and drop them and let the arms kind of just shake from side to side. <sighs> kind of makes warrior two not seem 
so bad right now when we get to shake out like this. Okay, come on back to your warrior two. The shoulders are right over our hips. Big inhale, flip the front palm and revolve. And let's come into a side angle. So the uh, left elbow to the top of the left thigh and then let the right fingertips reach towards the ceiling. And with that, this right hand keeps reaching up and it's almost, it's taking some weight out of, um, which could be getting dumped in from this um, left elbow. So really lengthen up through the right fingertips. Press through your feet, stay nice and low in the front knee. Come on back to your warrior two. Big inhale, flip and revolve. And then come on back, warrior two, and we will straighten this front leg. That feels okay. We'll come into triangle pose. So the left hand comes to the left shin. This right arm is reaching up towards the ceiling. This right arm is in line with the right shoulder. The fingertips are reaching. And then if you ever use a yoga block in your practice, this is a great pose for one because the fingertips could just be resting on um, the block on a mat. Press into your feet. Let's rise up to stand and turn the left toes in so the feet are parallel. And let's take a little back bend here if that feels okay. So the heart lifts up, big breath in. And then exhale and fold forward. We're kind of hinging at the hips here. And then whatever you want to do in this forward fold, go ahead and um, do whatever feels good. So lunges can always feel nice, bending one, one knee and straightening the other leg. <sighs> There's always lots of options and varieties and yoga poses and you get to listen to your body and you get to decide. Bring the hands to the, uh, the floor if they aren't there and inhale to a halfway lift. And start turning the left toes forward and the right toes and we're just going to walk forward to a forward fold at the top of our mat. And from here, come into a deep squat. So walk the feet out to the edges of the mat, maybe to 10 and um, 2 o'clock. Maybe you can relax in the hips a bit and just have some small movements here. So either looking over a shoulder, the other one. Let's go ahead and lower down onto the ground. So before we go anywhere too quick, let's come right into boat pose. Nice, we're doing it. So in boat pose, go ahead and lift the, um, the feet. The hands can come um, behind the hamstrings to help keep uh, the heart lifted. So this is a core exercise. So flex the toes and engage through the legs, kind of puffing out in the chest and the chin is lifted. <sighs> And maybe let's lower down like halfway and lift back up. <laughs> and we'll just do that two more times. So lower down halfway and lift back up. And one more time, lower down halfway, use that core and lift back up. And let's lower all the way down. <sighs> okay. Whew. Why don't we take a full body stretch? So. Reach your arms overhead, reach through the fingertips, reach through the toes. <sighs> and then as you exhale, let the hands come down by your side. Squeeze the knees into your chest. Maybe wrap the arms around the shins and press into the low back. <sighs> Waterfall pose, feet lift straight up towards the ceiling. And if this ever doesn't feel okay, you can um, bring yourself up near a wall. So the wall would be uh, supporting the legs for you. <sighs> and 
And bend the knees, bring the feet to the floor. And then bring the soles of your feet together and the knees are out towards the edges of your mat. And so this is a nice stretch through um, the hips and depending how your hips and knees are, you can always place um, pillows under your knees if this is ever feeling like too much. And now in the practice, we're beginning to kind of wind down after we made it through that little power series and peak of holding poses. Bring the knees together and walk the soles of the feet out towards the edges of the mat. So the knees stay bent and they fall in towards one another. And then walk the feet in so that they're right under um, the knees. And we'll take pigeon pose so we can start with the right ankle going right over on top of the left thigh. And from here, I like to flex my right foot. And then I pull the left thigh uh, into the chest. And I kind of use my right elbow to press against in a way um, my right leg. So I get a nice stretch through uh, the right glute. If you're feeling all set on that side, go ahead and switch. So lower that leg down. And maybe from here, you drop both feet to the floor and you just let the knees rock from side to side. That can always feel good. Or you can just go right into the other side. And even as we are winding down, we're still breathing with intention and still hopefully doing every pose kind of mindfully and um, just bothering to do it right, even though it's more of a restorative pose and the class is almost over, it's still important to kind of show up and still give your best effort as you move through the practice. And let's lower the legs down. And then go ahead and squeeze them into the chest again. And we'll kind of rock and roll front to back a few times. So maybe the hands come uh, under the knees and we'll rock and roll till we're up to a seated position. And we'll come into some nice forward folds. Nice, I see some people rocking up there. <laughs> Okay, lay your legs out nice and long. And I'm gonna use a yoga strap today. So um, if anyone has one of these, they are great for uh, poses just like this. So we're gonna reach for our feet. So inhale, reach the arms up nice and high. And then as you exhale, start to reach for your feet. And if you aren't there yet, a yoga strap or like a belt um, is great to use. Um, and so if the hands aren't there and you don't have a yoga strap, you can always let the hands just rest on the floor um, on the mat on either side of you. And this is a yummy pose for a pillow too. If you ever want to put a pillow like on top of the thighs and over the knees, that can feel nice. <sighs> Go ahead and lift back up. We'll come into a seated tree pose. So uh, let the left leg stay long and bend the right knee. Hug the sole of the right foot into the left thigh. And so for this stretch, we can do it two ways. You can let the upper body fold over the left thigh and both hands can reach for the left foot. 
or you can come into a more side body stretch where the um, right arm is kind of reaching up and over. So you're getting a nice side stretch through the right side body and the gaze is sort of in front of you-ish and a little bit up to the ceiling. So your decision, maybe you do both for a short moment. And lift back up, leave the feet just as they are, and we'll just take a gentle little twist if you'd like. Right hand on the ground, left foot to, uh, left hand to the right knee. Inhale as you lengthen, and then exhale. Notice if you can twist, and maybe here you kind of notice if it feels a bit easier than the first twist that we took at the beginning of class. And then come back through center, and we'll switch sides, so now the right Leg, legs, uh, lays out nice and long. And that left knee. And then we go. So your inhale, your decision on um, what kind of variation you'd like to do with this one. Go ahead and lift back up, however slowly you'd like. And if you'd like to take the twist to the side, the right hand to the left knee. Inhale, notice how the heart lifts just a bit as you get an inch taller. And then on the exhale, gentle little twist. And come on back towards center. We'll just do another final stretch. The soles of the feet come together. Elbows, if you'd like, press against the inner thighs a little bit. And this can be your pose right here, sitting up nice and tall. And again, pillows under the knees if this is not feeling okay or the hips feel tight. And for a deeper stretch, you can start working the heart down towards uh, the feet. So working on a nice flat spine as we kind of start to fold forward. Okay, go ahead and lift back up. And let's lie down on our backs. We'll come into a quick spinal twist to the right and to the left. And then we'll close the practice. So go ahead, let yourself lay on down. And we'll hug the right knee into the right shoulder. The left leg is staying long uh, on the ground. And we're going to guide this right knee up and over the left leg and roll into the outer edge of the left leg as you take this twist. And again, if this right knee uh, is ever feeling unstable, you can uh, put a pillow under here so the right knee is kind of resting on something and not just floating if the right knee isn't coming down to the floor. Coming back through center. Lay the right leg out nice and long. Squeeze the left knee into the left shoulder. And then guide the left knee up and over to the right side. Come onto that outer edge of the right thigh and leg. We want our shoulders to um, stay down on the mat and the gaze is up at the ceiling or over your left shoulder. And gently come on back towards center and get yourself comfortable for our final resting pose. So this will be our Shavasana. It will be about a minute or two. And this is where we kind of just let go and there is nothing to do in this pose, which is usually the hardest part. 
So allow yourself to be comfortable. If there's any distractions going on through the mind right now, give yourself permission to just tuck those to the side for a moment or two. Close the eyes down and uh, allow the earth to hold you. So notice if there's somewhere where you can kind of melt and let go a bit more. Take a long inhale through the nose. So really dragging it out, almost breathing in as slowly as you can. And then a slow, long exhale, slowly out through the mouth. And roll the ankles, move the fingers and toes, let the neck grow from side to side. And then in your way, find yourself up to a seated position, just like how we started and allow yourself to kind of keep with this nice little meditative state. We'll sit in a nice comfortable position and let yourself sit up nice and tall. In a nice big inhale, reach the arms up high towards the ceiling. Palms come together and bring them towards heart center. And let the thumb knuckles uh, touch the sternum and tuck the chin a little bit. And relax through the shoulders, relax through the muscles of the face. And as you're here, um, feel grateful for yourself for showing up and practicing and getting on your yoga mat. We'll take a deep breath in. And a long exhale out. Namaste. Thank you all for joining and practicing. I hope you enjoyed and are feeling good. Um, sorry for the dog distractions. My cat also knocked a plant over at some point and the plot went smashing. So thank you guys for joining. I appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great night. <laughs>